My name is Emmanuel Jal, and I'm going to share my story with you. I was born in the most difficult times when my country was at war. I was forced to be a war child. I'm a war child. I saw houses burned, I've seen people dying, and for all the traumas and everything that I've gone through, I've put my fight into the music. A lot of people, you could tell them a situation, then if you touch only their minds, they'll only act temporarily. But if you touch their heart, then they'll cut it with passion. I'm a big fan of yours, by the way. good message that we need to listen to and it's got a good beat and the story you know comes from his heart your story is very very moving I really just want to hug you <laughs> he represents the youth of Sudan you know he represents uh, us Emmanuel would do well in America because they haven't seen anything like that sure. oh, I loved it how you shared your story sure. oh, thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Oh, no. I don't normally listen to hip-hop music but I'm going to listen to this now. <laughs> it's because of you. See, going back to Africa is deep. Going to meet my family, my grandma, my dad my brothers and sisters, so I'm going to visit places that has a special attachment to my stories. It's going to be very emotional. The war had so many different contributing factors. It was a war that neither side could really win. It was a, a mess of war that you can kill anybody, be it a child, a woman or a man, anybody. Two, three years from now, the government is not going to allow them to have a free and fair referendum. The war is going to begin again unless this government is changed. When it comes to Africa, the world don't care. Some part people love My country is wealthy, but the people are so poor, you know. It's a lot of responsibility, but it makes me want to fight for the freedom of my people through the music. I'm just left thinking that there's a lot of work to be done.